Oh, hi, I'm Eric Hansen. You might recognize me from such television programs as Epic Trails. Yeah! Here today, I'm going to be looking at my top five favorite day hikes of all time. Now, before we get into the video, I'd please like to ask a favor. If you would like and subscribe to our channel here, it would really help us in getting the word out about our fine little channel here. Now that you have liked and subscribed to this video and to this channel, uh, let us uh, please proceed with my top five day hikes of all time. Number five on my list of top five day hikes of all time comes in at Lake Louise and Banff in Alberta, Canada. This would be the Plain of Six Glaciers hike. Now, many of you have seen Lake Louise on the fine world of Instagram. It is a stunning and beautiful place, but this is only where the hike begins here. You continue up the rugged Rocky Mountains. And uh, this hike is a challenge, uh, but most people of general fitness can accomplish this hike. Uh, now, the main thing is that you get up to the actual Plain of Six Glaciers, a place where, at least before global warming, there were six glaciers that came down into this valley. Now, the glaciers have receded a bit, but that does not mean that the views are any less staggering. What's also wonderful about this hike is not only the spectacular views of the natural world, but you actually get back to a real live functioning tea house. Pretty exciting here. Wow. Truly, the brownies that I had there were remarkable, something that I still think about three years later. It makes for one of the best turnaround destinations you could ask for on a day hike. The views from the Plain of Six Glaciers are amazing and can be done most any time. Of course, in the winter, it's going to be very snowy and very chilly. I happened to be there in uh, late fall and it was still beautiful, although quite cold and nippy at the glaciers. But uh, all around, I had an amazing time. It was an amazing hike and I can't recommend it enough. And of course, you get to stare at Lake Louise and the beautiful blue waters twice, once upon your arrival and once upon your return. So cheers to you, number five. Number four on my list of top five hikes is a little bit of a different style. Now, there's no trail here, although it is a great place to get out and hike. And why might there be no trail here? Well, that's because it's on a sand dune. That's right, number four on my list is the Cadiz Sand Dunes in Death Valley of California. Now the dunes are always changing, so there's be no point to actually build a real trail here, but that doesn't mean you can't get out and enjoy a wonderful hike. Now I got to spend some time there. I camped at the base of the dunes and had some amazing stargazing opportunities. But uh, from camp, from where I camped right near the car park, uh, you're able to hike and I spent both my afternoon, evening sunset and an early morning out on the dunes. Uh, there's only a couple of times in my life where I've been just truly felt like I'm in another world. And uh, here on the top of the sand dunes, nothing around but vast open desert. And with the shifting light, I honestly, it's just a mind blowing place. And the other unique thing about Death Valley is that it's surrounded by mountains. So while you're in one of the lowest places in the US, you also get some fantastic mountain scenery all around you while staring at the constantly shifting sands beneath your feet. And I loved it. And if you're looking for a different type of trail, go check out the Cadiz Sand Dunes in Death Valley. Going back to a little bit more of a traditional trail, we're going to be going north of the border to visit my Canadian friends. Now, number three on my list of top five hikes would be at Glacier Crest. Now, this is in the Revelstoke region, but it's in the Selkirk Mountains. Glacier Crest is where two glaciers come to meet and you actually hike a crest or a ridge that separates the two glaciers. The Illisillowit Glacier and the Asulkin Glacier come down out of the Rocky Mountains, or the Selkirks actually, uh, to form an incredible view. Now the glaciers have receded quite a bit over the last hundred years, but that has left some scoured exposed granite rock and waterfalls that make for wonderful places to stop and think about how amazing our planet is. Now I was there in some cool, windy, rainy weather, but that didn't stop me from having an amazing time and enjoying the scenery with my guide counterparts as we explored the Selkirk Mountains of Revelstoke, BC. Emily and I are almost the very top, finally made it to this last spine, this ridge, Glacier Crest, able to see 
big glaciers over this way, spectacular glaciers over this way. And then there's our top right there. It's been a big day. <laughs> now I must give a caveat. Pretty much all the hiking that there is to do in Canada in these mountain regions is very steep and very challenging. We're trying to get up there roughly-ish. It's basically like a mile away in distance and like three miles away in vert. So uh, yeah, there's, there's no easy doing things here. And uh, even for somebody with me of sort of moderate fitness, uh, finds this place to be a quite a challenging place to hike, but the rewards are always well worth it. So if you wanna add something wonderful to your bucket list for a great day hike, make sure you go check out Glacier Crest in Revelstoke, British Columbia. We made it. That's a big day. I guess we're only halfway there. <laughs> We'll have to go down. Coming in at number two on my top five day hikes of all time. This again is gonna be a little blend. There is some traditional hiking and there is some non-traditional hiking here, but this would be the Mendenhall Glacier in Juneau, Alaska. Now, glaciers are some of the most staggering concepts that we've ever created on our planet. And by we created, I mean, they just exist and they're mind blowing. But the Mendenhall Glacier comes right down to the base of Juneau, Alaska. So in the capital of the, one of the great states of the US, you can actually go and explore this amazing place. Now there is some traditional hiking around the front of the glacier, and it is a wonderful, wonderful spot for spotting wildlife. I had the experience of showing up at the ranger station, walking out away from the car for a grand total of 45 seconds, before I spotted a brown bear charging down the river and hunting down some salmon. That was just the welcome to Alaska moment of my life and something I will never forget. But for those of you who want to take the day hike up to the next level, get in a helicopter and actually get transported onto the glacier. And uh, I was accompanied by Jonathan, a fine guide in Alaska, who helped me hike and explore Mendenhall Glacier. Most of the stuff's here for a week and gone the next week, so kind of sad too to see it melt back. There's been some really incredible features that'll just no longer be there. And now this is a little bit atypical again because you're one on a glacier and it requires crampons and an ice axe, so a little bit different, I understand. One of the most mind-bending things on this glacier which would be a Mulan, which is basically a gaping hole in the glacier where surface water or a river on top of the glacier finds a weak point and then just cascades into the heart hundreds of feet. Who knows what kind of depths into the darkness below. That, that's genuinely terrifying. <laughs> that is insane. Just hanging over that edge and looking down into that gaping maw was definitely something that made my innards a little bit queasy. So there it is, number two on my top five day hikes of all time, the Mendenhall Glacier in Juneau, Alaska. Thank you very much for that incredible place. Now, I've gotten to experience some amazing places and I count myself incredibly lucky. So what could be number one on my list of top five day hikes? Well, my friends, we are gonna go down to a little island nation in the Caribbean to a place called Dominica, where we are going to explore the Boiling Lake. Now the Boiling Lake is just what it sounds like. It's a literal lake that boils. Dominica is home to some marvelous mountains and geothermal activity that make the whole island a real treat to explore. And the Boiling Lake, for anybody who's gone there before, is one of their crown jewels. And with good reason. Getting to the Boiling Lake can also be quite the challenge. This is okay here? I'm not gonna like fall into a chasm of boiling water. Nah, you'll be all right. Maybe. You'll pull me out if I fall in. I will. Oh, thanks, Michael. I was accompanied by the local guiding legend, Michael, who knows this country like the back of his hand and guided me expertly through the jungly terrain of Dominica. Now, this trail is no joke. It's uh, up and down, it's slippery. You're going through water, down waterfalls. It is sulfurous. There are steam vents everywhere. It is a truly wild place. And it is not for the faint of heart. It is a difficult hike. But for those who endure the sweaty, swampy jungle humidity and the steam vents, 
It, you will be rewarded with quite the sight of a literal boiling lake. And literally behind me is a lake that is literally boiling, literally. Okay, so this is just a basin. It's a flooded fumarole and the molten magma, the hot stuff underneath the earth's crust. Yeah. As the water seeps through, um, it contacts with the hot air rising yeah. and it bubbles it back up. So it's always grumbling, it's always bubbling yeah. and always boiling, always hot. And if the wind ever shifts straight, you get a view of this amazing bubbling cauldron. Dominica has so much to offer and this crown jewel of a hike is mind blowing. And I loved my time there on the country. It was so good for so many reasons, but truly highlighted by the boiling lake. Okay, that wraps up my top five day hikes of all time, anywhere in the world, that I got to experience while filming with Epic Trails. I hope you liked the video. I hope you found it informative, maybe added a few places to your bucket list. If you did enjoy this video, please, once again, like and subscribe to it. And uh, thank you very much for joining me here. I'm Eric Hansen. I'll see you later.